हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर के एम खालकर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी के टी एच एम कॉलेज नासिक स्टूडेंट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर दैट इज द फ्लोरिकल्चर एंड इन विच वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट वन फ्लावरिंग क्रॉप दैट इज द Aster. Today we will start the second one flowering crop, and that is the orchids. Student, we all know about the orchids, a beautiful flower. The arrangement of sepals, petals, androecium, gynoecium, the color combinations in orchids are very. typical and beautiful and because of why orchids play an important role in floriculture in cultivation of flowers etc the orchids classify under the family orchidaceae largest family in the plant kingdom consisting of about 28000 currently accepted species and some 800 subspecies distributed in about 763 genera means friends when we are considering this orchid orchid is one of the largest family in the plant kingdom there are about 28000 species and about 763 genera this family is very unique family they are the largest family of the flowering plants evolved to successfully that there is only one continent in the world where they do not go naturally and that is the antarctica yes other than the antarctica the orchids are grow well and because of why their number is increased day by day the evolution of the orchids mean that they have learned to adapt to each individual environment and during this process of adaptation the orchid has drawn on arachids insects birds butterflies to ensure its successful pollination because of why the colorful nature the insects the birds the butterflies are attracted towards them and the pollinations are successfully takes place in case of the orchids we all have an idea that orchids are a beautiful flower no doubt about that and some are not however their achievements of survival skill make them worthy of the admiration admirations orchids are also harvested grown and traded for a variety of purpose including ornamental plants medicinal product food etc yes they are not only used as ornamental plant as a aesthetic plant but some orchids are used as a medicinal product as well as the food also so see all the pictures of the orchids they are beautiful their nature their we will say arrangement of sepals and petals how it is look beautiful and such a this is the nature we will say yes in the plants in the flowers they are having a special beauty and because of why it increase a pleasant of the human being so all these are the pictures of the orchid flowers then the growth type of the orchids there are two type of the growths are in case of the orchids that are monopodial growth and second one is the sympodial growth mono single one footed and and the sympodial that is the many footed the plant have a main stem which continues to grow after year that is the monopodial the example like as the vanna is there phalaenopsis is there enanthera is there whereas the sympodial the plant produces a series of adjacent shoots yes see here the below figure that is the sympodial type of the orchid growth is there and that the adjacent shoot which grow to a certain size bloom then stop growing to be replaced by the next growth and that is the 
the cattleya orchids whereas the cymbidium orchids are the type of cymbidial type of the orchids are there growth type is there then this the next one point that is the types of the orchids the orchids are divided into four types according to the growing conditions that is the epiphyte lithophytes saprophytes and terrestrial orchids are there we consider one by one the epiphyte air plant which grow on the other plant yes in the first figure we will see here that the orchids are grow on the other plant that is the epiphytic conditions are there so these are the epiphytes grow on the another tree they are air plant hanging roots are there they are absorbed the moisture and the nutrients from the atmosphere that is the epiphytes and the lithophytes the rock growers climb to the surface of rock yes lithophytes grow on the rock climb the surface of rocks whereas the saprophytes those that grow in mulch often on the forest floors generally in the forest floor the saprophytic orchids are grow well and the last one type that is the terrestrial which anchor themselves in soil or sand as most orchids are epiphytes and they can be grow in the bark clumbed charcoal pebbles on the wooden or cork legs are there so all these are the terrestrial orchid the upper figure that is the epiphytic and the lower figure that is the terrestrial orchids are there which we also producing a beautiful flowering there beautiful inflorescence there then what is the uses of the orchids generally the orchids as a medicine like as in china the dendrobium is used as a source of tonic astringent analgesic and anti inflammatory substances are there in india in the preparation of chavanprash four orchids are used yes in preparation of the chavanprash the orchids are used there are the petals of the orchids are used there around the world it is used to care the rheumatism sandivat malaria tuberculosis curd wound and burn injuries asthma several other ailments are treated with the help of the orchid different parts of the plants are there and the use of the vanilla vanillin extracted from the pods of vanilla plantifolia planifolia and is used as a flavoring agent in chocolate and ice cream the popular beverage is called as the farm whereas the uh, madagascar tea on the island this madagascar is prepared from the orchid jumelia fragrance super friend d we will say some 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 mcq is asking in such a way that is the madagascar tea is prepared from the orchid name of the orchid the answer is jumelia fragrance is there in north america bulb and tumor of orchids species were consumed also that one also one of the important is there then the next one point that is the care of orchid the care of orchid what care should be taken when the orchids are we will say cultivated there the first one indirect sunlight is ideal for orchid so avoid the direct sunlight seedling required less sunlight than the adult plants very poor light tends to produce weak plant and retard flowering are there very poor light tends to produce weak plants the optimum requirement varies between species to species yes means the requirement is different species to species are there the cypripedium and the phalaenopsis require 200 to 300 foot candles are there vanna and the aranda best under the 800 foot candles are there for their proper growth the growers have used seed nets 35% to 80% seed percentage to grow orchids in different genera orchids in nature grow pre treated from the tropical sun by the seeds or the trees are there so all these are the care of orchid or the for we will say uh, favorable conditions for it growth the running north to south made from material like as split bamboo glass seed etc the central trunk filled with water by using artificial fogging nozzles helps 
increasing the humidity in the atmosphere and grow orchids or grow well there. All type of the orchids cannot be grow under one roof. Yes, why? Their requirement is different. The environmental parameters are different and because of why all orchids we can't grow under the one roof and the tropical orchid enjoy humid warm atmosphere is there. Temperate orchids should be growing in full houses. A proper ventilation is also required there. The orchids dislikes sudden change in temperature. The best suitable range is 18 to 30 degrees centigrade. That is the orchid to orchid is required there. All these are we will say the care of orchids. Then how it is propagated? The propagation methods of the orchids. Orchids like other horticultural crop may be propagated either sexually or asexually. That is the vegetative method is there. The sexual method the commercial orchids are highly heterozygous and they are not related to the seed are propagated through a vegetative means and the vegetative that is the artificial means that is the cutting. Orchids like as the Eridus, Arachim, Epidendron, Rananthera, Phalaenopsis, Wanda, Dendrobium can be propagated by cutting. And cutting we all know the method of cutting or in the uh, third one chapter we have considered uh, this type of the uh, propagation, vegetative type of the artificial methods of vegetative propagation. First one is the cutting and the stems are generally used there. In this, the sympodial orchids, they are uh, propagated by this method that is the cutting. Or it may be of in some cases the shoot, offshoot or the kill, kill kids are used there for the vegetative methods of propagation. In some cases, aerial shoots are also used there, like as or in some uh, rhizome. Uh, in some uh, orchids, the rhizome gives off a special lateral branches which turn up and produce the new plants that is the aerial shoots are there. In some cases, a seed propagation is also there. Seed propagation known as the sexual propagation that orchid produce seed pods and with literally hundreds of thousands of seeds that are released and scattered by winds are there and such type of the seeds are play an important role in the development of new plant is there in the propagations of new orchid is there color may be white green pale green reddish orange or dark brown and have very diverse shape which will be obtained with the help of the seed propagation is there then to avoid this problem the greenhouse go also so the orchid seeds on the moist sugar rich sterile agar and they cut on growing clumps or and place them in the agar bed means we with the wind we like as the uh, in vitro conditions we will develop the seeds in the artificial medium with the help of that they grow well and when they are grow well we will plant it or uh, that seedling are planted into the uh, cultivated area is there so these are the we will say a uh, seed propagation is there then there is also one of the method, best method, today's propagation method and that is the tissue culture and the tissue culture technique were applied to orchid in 1960. Yes, the tissue culture technology applied for the orchid from 1960 and the technique is highly successful, gives a good results and they are free from virus. And today tissue culture is preferred for the commercial propagations of orchid. Both liquid and solid media are used to cultivation of orchids are there and the explant after being isolated from the shoot are culture in or on the desired medium is there. There are few advantage of the tissue culture technology that is the production of exact copies of plant that produce particularly good flowers and to quickly produce nature plants with the help of tissue culture technology also we will successfully obtain a virus free plants with the help of tissue culture technology the production of multiple of the plants absence of seed is a necessary pollination to produce the seeds and this regeneration from the whole plant plant cells that have been genetically modified so in which which will be takes place with the help of this method then after that a manuring is essential means after the propagation with the help of artificial sorry artificial vegetative method or sexual method then there is the need of manuring and this orchid obtained their supply of inorganic nutrient like as the calcium magnesium iron potassium nitrogen and traces of manganese boron copper zinc etc from the tree 
on which they are growing and also from atmosphere and decaying vegetable and dropping of birds are there. Under control condition they have supplied these major and minor nutrients. Solid and liquid fertilizers are also used for these uh, orchids. Liquid fertilizers are much more quickly absorbed by the plants and give the good results and use of the fertilizer depend on the stage of the growth of orchid is there. The manuring is also there is the need of NPK 202020 is the good during the vegetative growth. During vegetative growth large quantity of the nitrogen is required there while developing the flowering nitrogen should be reduced the amount of the phosphate is increases there. In general pH of the nutrient solution should be slightly acidic and neutral but not alkaline is required there. And the fertilizer should be made on sunny days during 8 am to 10 30 am for better absorption from the plants are there then the breeding which will be developed with the help of this uh, hybridization technique a new variety which will be formed there with them uh, we will say the species which will be developed with the help of this breeding technology hybridization technology which will be given here like as the ascocentia and when they are crossed there is a formation of third variety that is the ascocenda is there so in this way these are the various we will say the uh, breeding uh, by using the breeding technology a new variety which will be formed here the last one point that is the disease and pest of the orchid number of disease caused by fungi, virus, bacteria, insect and pests are there and that are controlled by using the fungicides like as the capton, bethane, agrosan, cerasan, etc. In case of the virus disease, it controls major all infected plants should be isolated and to prevent them spreading is there. The most commonly reported insect pests are thrips, aphids, spider, mite, shock skill, Nearly bugs, orchid weevil, snail, and slugs are the common, we will say, the pest in case of the orchids are there. They are also controlled by the parathion, malathion, BHP, altrin, etc. Is there. In, we will say the metal diet also prove a very effective in killing the slugs as well as the snail, which will be occurred in case of this orchids are there. So, in this way, we have completed the first one, we will have the second one. A flowering crop and that one is the orchid here so orchid is completed here friends you know orchid and interesting uh, flowering their beauty so generally they are cultivated so once again thank you